Hey guys, Elvin Archer here, and today we're making this super light collapsible camp stove. Stick with me. The stove we're going to be making today is super light at only a few ounces. It collapses down completely flat for easy storage and can burn several different types of fuel. Obviously you can burn small sticks and branches, but it can also be flipped over and the grate on the bottom can be used to burn solid fuel tablets. If you're wondering why I'm giving this little demo at the beginning of the video, well, that's in the hope that one or two of you will actually watch the whole thing. But probably not. Anyway, let's get into how to make it. The first thing I did was just draw up some plans real quick on some graph paper. Pretty simple, nothing spectacular about it. And because I'm lazy, I just made photocopies to glue directly onto the metal so I wouldn't have to do any tracing. All you're really going to need for this project is the sheet metal. I'm using some 1 16th inch sheet aluminum. I got this out of someone's recycling bin. If you don't have access to some really wasteful neighbors, then you can pick up some sheet aluminum on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can get some just like this. All I'm going to do is just cut these out, and we're going to affix them to the metal with some spray adhesive. All I want for Christmas is a pair of left-handed scissors. So these plans just so happen to be the perfect size for the piece of aluminum I have. Funny how that worked out uh, all on its own. Take some spray adhesive. We want enough to make these stick, but you know, don't go crazy with it. Now of course you can use hand tools for this. I'm just gonna use an angle grinder to speed things up. I have one clamp. Where did it go? I guess all I want for Christmas is a, a set of clamps and a pair of left-handed scissors. Oh, look at that, Sun and Halloween, and already the Christmas, Christmas. Day. Now I'm just going to use this file to take off the big burrs left by the angle grinder. Funny thing, do you know what other tool is great for this purpose? An angle grinder. I'm going to center tap this hole, because otherwise it's just... Always center punch your holes, kids. To make this easier to cut, I've got my, I've got them clamped together and then clamped the clamp into my vise. Not jerry-rigged at all. So now I'm going to use the angle grinder again, this time with a flap disc, to clean up all the edges. You can see they're fairly uneven here. Uh, just make sure it's to the lines in all these places and just generally clean up the shape. Okay, so now we're going to cut these notches. I'm going to use the cutoff wheel for the angle grinder. You could use the handsaw. The thing is, the cutoff wheel is just slightly thinner than the aluminum that I'm using. So what I'm going to have to do is cut and then move over very slightly and cut it in again. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I want this to fit fairly tightly. I don't want it to be so loose. Back over to the badly lit cave side of my workshop.
you guys like ASMR. Uh, you see how these sharp edges? That's going to make it really hard to assemble the stove. So all I'm going to do is take this rectangular, triangular file and just take off those edges. Obviously there's a little bit more cleaning up I could do, but really that's all there is. So you've got the little base in there where air can come up through, embers can collect, you've got vent holes, you've got a little space to feed in material, hot stand on top, flip it over, put hexamine tablets on the bottom. I'm just going to do a little bit more cleanup work and then we can test it out. You guys already know what it does because, you know, editing. That is some good stew. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you decide to make one of these of your own. They're super handy, pretty easy to make, and $15 at the most. But that's all I have for you today, guys. Archer out. Got my stew.